Howdy folks, finally got around to doing a video of the Log Jammer. Uh, it's another one of the Log Guitars. I'm not sure what the Log was. Uh, it might have been, might have been you. Uh, but there we go, I'll get it in the picture there. Still left all the bark on it, which I think looks nice and rustic. It's got some nice grains in it as well. I'm not sure if that is you actually. I could just be making it up. So left all the bark on that side. And same on the top. Oh, and wormholes. It's all, all treated, but I just thought, no, got to leave those holes in. Uh, adds, <laughs> adds again to the rustic look. JD Bottle Bridge. Uh, off my old shed, actually replaced the shed, kept the hinge, knew it would come in useful. Uh, now the pickups, I wanted them in keeping with an old log, so I just wanted them to look like nails that have been hammered in the log, which I hope they do. Well, they should do, because they, they are nails. Uh, I left them out in the garden for a while, till they got nice and rusty. So there's your rusty nail pickups. Three-way, where's the three-way switch? Volume and tone, keep it simple. And uh, the fretboard, I'll, I did like this. This is sported, oh, sported ash, I think it was. Uh, and you get this lovely streak goes all the way down there. Thought that uh, sort of went with the uh, colours of the log. The dot markers are actually branded. That is a screw screwed into the end of the soldering iron. Uh, again, just kind of trying to keep it nice and rustic. Round the back, we have the inside job for the pickups. Uh, a bit fiddly to do, which is why uh, you got big covers. But like I said, I just thought it added to the uh, the whole thing having the nails as the pickups and more more holes, of course. So that is the rustic, rustic old log jammer. I'll uh, I'll plug her in, give you a quick blast. I'll say a quick one because I can uh, hear the missus clashing around in the kitchen. Right, won't be a sec. The uh, the log jammer with rusty nails. Uh -huh. 